Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Oh, do we have something beautiful for you today? Well, this is actually really funny now, so... Jay Sean Lemoir's motion to dismiss appeal. Remember, you know, when he, uh, he was all premature filing and jurisdiction and everything else. You know, he was going on saying that Ty's a clown, he's this, he's that. How dare he's doing this, you know, he shouldn't be filing too early. Well, it's been denied. And that is brilliant to see. And this is what we have. So after we got in the Courts of Appeal, 2nd Appellate District of Texas at Fort Worth. It goes on, you know, all this, you know, VM, Federation, Jamie, etc. And this is the order. We have considered Appellee's motion to dismiss appeal for lack of subject matter jurisdiction and is premature. The motion is denied. We direct the clerk of this court to send a notice of this order to the attorneys of record, the trial court judge and the trial court clerk. And that was dated December the 11th. 2019. That is just a brilliant to see. Because if you remember, we had, you know, Greg Duche and a few other people on Twitter, these are lawyer Twitters, you know, and they're going off saying, how does he done this? And this is what he said. He did it. Toy Beard actually did it. He somehow managed to file an improper interlocutory appeal that's going to end up getting dismissed for want of jurisdiction. And he's got this, see, whatever. But then, obviously, no, he's been proven wrong on that one. Then there's this one. V desires to appeal the TCPA dismissal and all orders granting fees, costs, or sanctions thereafter. You can't preemptively appeal, Percy. Ha, ha, ha. Look at them all. Let this be yet another reminder that Ty Beard doesn't know what he's doing. And I just think this is brilliant to see now that this has happened and... Greg Duche has actually been a little bit quiet over the last couple of hours regarding this situation. And I just think it's fantastic because these people now, these, you know, law Twitter and everything else, the ones who are going on, the ones who are calling Ty a clown, saying that VM shouldn't have trusted him, who shouldn't have gone with him and he should have got a proper lawyer, someone who actually believed him and doing their things instead of just for the money. Well, with all of this, I was actually sent a little video regarding the situation and I think it's absolutely brilliant. So what we're going to do, I am going to show this video quickly and then we'll have a quick discussion at the end. <laughs> how funny is that video that video is just so funny because it shows everyone who is saying that Ty Beard's a clown he shouldn't have done it he was too early you know preemptive you know why is he you know lack of jurisdiction premature and all this kind of thing and all these people you could see him so you had that Mike guy obviously Greg Duchesne was in there and a few other people and this has slapped them right back in the face now. And it wouldn't surprise me if they come out in the next couple of days and they'll spout some kind of nonsense regarding this actual you know, denial of this appeal. And they're going to be saying all kinds of rubbish now. They're probably going to come out and say, oh, well, the court's done this because of this. Or the court's waiting for this or is waiting for that. It's going to be something along those lines because... Even if they are lawyers and all this kind of thing, I don't think they actually understand what's going on. And even though they may have seen it in a different case, all cases are different. That's the thing that a lot of these people seem to forget. Not every single case is the same. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. 
and I'll see all you wonderful people soon.